In this video, we will see how to create the selection controls in our design system like checkboxes, radio buttons, and toggle options. So, by the end of this video, you will learn how to create these three elements and add it in your design system to make your design consistent and better. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's first see our first example, which is a checkbox in which we will have these two variants. One will be a checked and another one will be an unchecked variant. Now let's create this default state for this checkbox. Go to the assets panel and drag and drop this check icon from the icon library in our design system. Now select this icon and change the size to a 16 pixels. Now scroll down and change this fill color to our primary color. Then change this icon color to our absolute white color. Now while this icon selected, Add it in the auto layout and remove all the paddings. Give it a corner radius to this auto layout frame as a 4 pixel and then check this clip content option. Select the auto layout frame and go to the stroke option and again give a primary color for the stroke as well. This will be our default checked element. Now hold Alt and drag and duplicate this default element. Go to the layers panel and hide this icon layer to create an unchecked variant. Then go to the stroke option and change this color to a lighter neutral color. This will be our default unchecked variant of this checkbox component. Now the next state is a hover state. Select both the default elements and hold alt and duplicate them. Then select this element and go to the selection colors and change this color to a slightly lighter primary color. Now the next state is the focus state. Select both default element, drag and duplicate them. For the focus state, go to the stroke option and change this color to a darkest primary color. Then finally, for the disable state, again duplicate the default two elements and go to the selection colors and change the primary color to a lighter neutral color. Now, to create a component, select all the elements and from this component drop down menu, click on this option to create a component set. Now, in this properties panel, double click and rename this property as each checked. Then, hold control and select all the top elements. And for the property value, give it as a true. Then, hold control and select all the bottom elements and here give the value as false. Now, if you take an instance of this component, you will get this toggle option to change the value of this instance. Now, you can also rename the property and the toggle option won't be affected. For the different states, add another variant by clicking on this plus icon. Give it a name as state and create property. Now, if you select first two elements, the default state is already applied. Select the second two elements and here rename it as hover for the hover state. Then select the third elements and rename it as focus. And finally, for the last element, rename it as disable. Now if you select the instance and go to the properties option, you'll get this drop down option to change the state property of the instance. Now the next component is radio, which has two variants as on and off. To create a radio button, draw a circle and give it a size as 8 pixels. Then wrap it in auto layout, change the width and height to 16 pixels. Then change the alignment to center align and change the paddings to 0. Then add a stroke and change the color to a primary color. Then change the corner radius to 16 as well to make it a circle. Select the inner circle and change its color to same primary color. This is the default radio button component. Now to create an off variant, hold Alt and duplicate this default element. Select the inner circle and hide it. Then select the element 
and go to the stroke option and change its color to a lighter neutral color. Select both the default elements, hold Alt and duplicate them for the hover state and change the color to a lighter primary color. The next state is the focus state. Select the default elements and duplicate them. And here change the stroke value to the darkest primary color. Then finally for the disable state, duplicate the default elements and change the color to a lighter neutral colors. Now hold control and select all the elements. And from this component drop down menu, click on this option to create a component set. Drag an instance from this component. Here you will see this property options. Rename this property as is on. Hold control and select all the top elements. And here change the value as true. Then hold control and select all the bottom elements. And here change the value as false. Now in the instance you will get this toggle option. You can again click on this frame and rename this property. And now if you see in the instance the toggle option won't be affected. Now to create different states click on this component frame. Then add variant for state. Again repeat the process just like checkboxes by renaming all the values for different states. Now the third component is the toggle component. This also has two variants as on and off. To create a toggle, draw a circle and give it a size as 12 pixels. Then wrap it in auto layout and give the padding as 2 pixels. Then manually adjust the width of this auto layout frame as 32 pixels here. Add a stroke and change its color to a lighter neutral color. Then change the corner radius to 16 pixels. Also change the fill color to a lightest neutral color or an off white color. Then select this circle and change its color similar to outer stroke. This is our default off variant for the toggle option. For the on variant, duplicate this element and change the fill color and stroke color to our primary color. Then select this circle and change its color to a white color. Duplicate the default elements and repeat the process similar to checkbox and radio button for the different states. Once done, select all the elements and create a component set and repeat the process similar to checkbox and radio component to create different component properties. So that is it for this video. If you haven't already watched the previous part on input field component in design system, you can watch by clicking on this video.